What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Jay and welcome back to a special FC Cincinnati Vault Playoff Edition. You know last week was very exciting. Honestly, I probably had about, I don't know how many heart attacks during that game. From Spencer Richie making, making amazing saves to just ultimately the penalty kicks. And seeing that ball go over net for Nashville. And then for Kenny to put him back in there to help us advance to the second round of the playoffs. And honestly, I couldn't be more thrilled. It was just exciting from start to finish. And credit to the, credit to the lads for really just finally in this club's short history thus far getting the first playoff win for FC Cincinnati. Feels like a long time coming. Feels like we should have had that a while ago. But, you know, we'll take it. We'll, we'll make it work. And we'll move on to today's match. Today we're playing New York Red Bulls 2. This year in the season, we've honestly we've beaten them twice, 2-1 both times. My only concern for today's game is that I don't want a slow start. And we gotta be able to start really quickly. I say the first 15, 20 minutes where we really make an impact on the pitch from, from, the, from defenders all the way to our attacking. We have to really put our stamp on this one because they're a team that they can be beat. Obviously, we've seen that before, but it's kind of the lingering thought of, do you want us to keep it filling up the gas? Do you want to let last week's performance really dictate how you play this week? And we have to throw that to the wayside. We, it's a whole new season today, the way I see it. And it's kind of the way probably when you, when you look at coaching, sorry about that. When you look at coaching, it's like, okay, that was one season right there. Here's your next season. How do you play 90 minutes? all the way through, and I think they're going to do a great job with that. Kosh has done a great job in terms of putting out a good 18 and a great start in 11 in order for us to get to the promised land, so I don't expect anything different. And truthfully today, I'm expecting, I'll probably say the same result. I said 2-1 victory for FC Cincinnati to get us to the Eastern Conference Finals for USL, and hopefully we will continue to make this run. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is obviously Going out, going out of Nipper, going to have some fun, film everything, and they're going to make some noise. And I'll see you all soon. Let's go, FCC. Let's continue this gravy train that we're on. Let's go. Let's go boys. Number 23, Blake Smith. And midfielder from Knoxville, Tennessee. Number four, Tyler Gibson. A midfielder from Northville, Michigan. Number 27, Batai Alassie. New York versus Fast Cincinnati all over again. Always start out one and end up going that end up going down. Yeah, yeah. Always start down one. Come on boys.
Attack on, uh, on court, not court, uh, yeah, on free kick actually, and putting the back of that to make it one nil for them. But we got to do about better. But at the same time, we got a lot more work to do, and hopefully, we can start putting together. I mean, a lot of passes that we're making, even if it's a wet pitch, just skip it past us. We're not making a smart pass. So, second half, we got to do it. Got to get a lot more inspired play. Come on, boys, we need one. We need one. We're getting back in this match. Let's go, FCC. specifically about the game honestly I mean I'm disappointed I mean, it's, it's kind of like a nice little gut punch this is a game that when I was talking to a few people leading up to it it was one that they were fearful of felt like it was what they would call a quote, quote unquote a trap game and it turns out they were right I mean they went up early I think in the 12th or 13th minute and it seemed like we could never bounce back um I will say the first 20 minutes of the second half looked incredible for us from a mental standpoint. It looked like we were creating a lot of chances, but somehow, some way, it just didn't feel like we could just put it in the back of the net. And it, it was tough to watch in terms of, I mean, we had this great season um, from, from start to finish. Um, Obviously, we did announce with MLS, and tonight just didn't, it just wasn't our night. Clearly, because obviously we didn't bring home to play next Thursday. But I'm not going to make any complaints about the ref or any of the refs. Uh, I'll let you guys on Twitter handle that. Uh, I'm not going to make any complaints about the players. You guys on Twitter will do that as well. Um, I will say that. I, I, man, I wish that could have been one one goal from us. I really wish that could have been. Um, it could have been a very special, even more special night. But I'm glad in terms of this season has been an amazing experience from start to finish. And I'm glad I was able to vlog a lot of this, film a lot of this, and share experience with you guys. This is a great run. You can't, we can't take that away from our guys. This is a great run. And I just read some on Twitter that honestly gold like hit me just now that this is this is the time that we might not see we're not gonna see a lot of these guys come back next season. And we need to 
just take a moment to appreciate just the amazing one these guys have all given us. From the guys that we started with, some to even some of the guys that we lost, uh, that we uh, that we lost along the way in terms of lo uh, loans and things like that. But we gotta appreciate this club for what they've done for us this entire season, man. I gotta say thank you. I mean, it's it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. I mean, what can I say about it? It was a great season. Um, and the fact that I was able to share that with you guys has been fantastic and being able to really see it from start to finish this club and the interest in this club grow and become something that Cincinnati just loves and so before I even, before I even finish this vlog um, I, gotta, I gotta tip my hat to a lot of you guys that have seen me uh, out in Cincinnati and come up and say hi as know me as the YouTube vlog guy. I mean, this has been this has been very very special to me, and I'm grateful for everybody that's tuned in. It's been it's been awesome. I gotta say that. I mean, I've never experienced something like that where people actually know me and actually come up to me and, and say hi to me. And anytime you ever see me, you always want to say hi to me. It's truly a pleasure doing this for you guys. It's truly a pleasure that you guys watch this and give you more motivation to the team while I'm making these vlogs for you guys in the future. Um, so I gotta figure out now that my season's done, I'm gonna keep, keep going with this. I mean, there's so much that's going to happen, that's going to go down in these next, let's see what, it's October now. So we got about what, five, six months that before we start our next season and, and our first season MLS. So there's gonna be a lot of things that's gonna happen and a lot of things to cover. But credit to everyone who's stuck in and have bought into this club because this we're not we're not done here. We got a lot of things to do and a lot of work to get done. But we'll get it done. And I believe that. So I'll probably make another video at some point. Um just recapping the season um, more more so than I just did here, but I just want to take a I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you guys for watching this video. It's been it's been a pleasure making these for the regular season and the playoffs. So leave your thought leave your thoughts in terms of the match uh, in in the comments down below. I'll be reading them, so it doesn't mean I, I don't I don't look at that. And I'll be happy to hear your thoughts and kind of go from there. But in the meantime, guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, please drop a like at the bottom of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you tune in to hit that notification bell to make sure you know when any of my videos are coming up. I have a lot of plans for the future, and I promise you they will be even better than this season. And please, please, don't give up on this club. We got a lot of things coming down the pipeline, and I truly believe that we're going to be something special for years to come. This has been your boy, Jay. Please have a great night, great morning, great afternoon whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good one, and I will see you soon. Peace.